am super excited to show you a new prototype that I've been testing and that I'm really liking a lot. It's a fun new stove that we're calling the Folding Firebox Nano. It's only a quarter of an inch thick when it's folded up. It weighs 5.6 ounces. Now there are other stoves on the market that are tiny like this, but this one has some advantages over those and let me explain what those are. Number one, no assembly. You just open it up, the fire grate falls down, and it's set up. You're ready to cook. It doesn't get easier than that. The other advantage it has is this unique pot stand where the L-shaped wire creates the pot stand, but it's also connected to the legs, to the feet. So what happens is you aim these all in. If you've got something small, like a Space Saver cup, works great for small stuff. And it'll handle smaller stuff than even a Space Saver cup. I mean, I can put my little tiny Trangia on here, and that's a really small surface. But then you can rotate these all outwards. And not only does it increase your pot stand size, but it automatically increases your footprint. So you increase your stability as well. So then you can put something big on there like this frying pan and you don't have to worry about it tipping and teetering because you've got this great big stance now. See, this is normally a three inch square. Well, I've just increased it by a full inch. So that's more like a five inch. Okay, now the other advantage that the Nano gives you over other small stoves and even some stoves that are a little bit bigger than the Nano is the amount of heat that it's capable of putting out. Now you're asking, well, why would it put out any more heat than any of the other stoves? Well, there's two reasons. One of the reasons is because it's a very free-flowing design. It really can get a lot of air, so it's capable of handling more fuel. More fuel is more heat. The other reason is because not only do we have a side feed chute, we have two side feed chutes. So this is our own proprietary design and this really creates a lot of heat and a lot of stability for the fire so your fire isn't trying to go out all the time you slide your your wood in one side you side your slide your sticks in the other side and because one of the side feeds is slightly higher than the other one they cross in the center let me see if i can tip this up and show you so your sticks cross on the inside. So what happens is rather than having the wood stacked up the whole length of the wood, it's only crossed right where you want it to have that intense burn inside your burn chamber. And when the fire starts to move down the sticks, it reaches the point to where they're not crossed anymore and then the intensity goes down. So you have much less burn outside of the hole. It doesn't follow the sticks and start burning outside of the hole keeps it all contained inside of your little firebox nano. So this system really produces a lot more heat than the other small stoves on the market. So it's not just a solo stove. You can cook for multiple people with this little tiny stove. It really works that good. The other advantage that the nano gives you over some of the tiny stoves on the market is you can use your simmer ring with your Trangia stove. The Trangia stove just drops right in. You don't have to adjust anything or set anything up. You just drop it in, light it, and you're cooking. And, it, and it, I've gotten really great boil times with the Trangia stove as well. Just very effective. Oh, I don't think I told you my, boil, my best boil time using a wood fire, twigs and sticks, using the cross feed system was 3 minutes and 10 seconds on 2 cups of water bringing two cups of water to a boil. So the advantage that you have with uh, the Firebox Nano over other small stoves is you can use your simmer ring. Now you can only use it to about halfway open, but that's generally what people, how people are going to be using it because you are trying to bring down the temperature. And so this allows you to simmer it down to about halfway open, uh, which allows you to uh, to really decrease your temperature and do some long duration type simmering with your Trangia alcohol stove. So that's great as well. The Firebox Nano, only a quarter of an inch thick, 
5.6 ounces, and we're going to offer it on a pre-sale basis. Doing a bench test of the Trangia alcohol stove. I've got a Trangia alcohol stove in each of these. I've got the short model, the tall model. Um, I've got exactly two ounces of alcohol in each stove. So I'm, and I have two cups of water in each of these pots. Anyway, let's go ahead and light these. Okay, so both are lit. I'll wait for those to come to a bloom, and then I will start my timer. Start. And let's see how that goes. Okay, we're at four minutes right now, and okay, that one is boiling. I think it just barely started. 4.06. Yeah, it looks boiling. the tall may have started boiling slightly. There they are boiling. Put this on. The shorter of the two way. sizes of stoves, and it also has the smaller holes, the smaller feed holes. So that's actually working very well, and you can see there's just a few hot coals on the ground. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on and start the timer. Go. We're at 4 minutes and 22 seconds. And I can start to hear something going on in there. Okay, the bubbles are actually rising. I think I'd have to call that a boil. Okay, and that's 435. I'm going to try a top feed test, but I'm going to light it through these side holes. I'm testing both of them. Why? Did you test that one already? Uh, no, I didn't. I've tested that one a long time ago. Mm. So I'll go ahead and start this timer and start feeding it from the top. Start. There's my lid. Yeah, I'm just going to start breaking off some little chunks. Yeah. And tossing them in there. Okay, this is definitely the biggest fire I've had in it by feeding it breaking from the them top. Off. You know, about half of my finger's length. And then they fall down in there, you know, quite nicely. Okay, we're at three minutes and ten seconds, and I'm actually hearing some sounds that sound like it's uh, maybe getting kind of close to boiling. I think it might be. We're at three minutes and twenty-nine seconds. Yes, and we're definitely boiling. Three minutes and thirty Fastest seconds. Fastest boil time with this stove so far. So now I'll try the tall one with the top feed. Okay, testing the taller version with the larger side holes with feeding from the top. Okay, so we've been going for two minutes and six seconds. And once again, this is the taller stove. Okay, 344. I can hear something going on. We may already be boiling. Yes, we're boiling. So it boiled at about 344. I think we're getting close. Oh, we're boiling. 329. Wow, that's the fastest boil time yet. Okay, we're boiling at 310. That's a new record. Okay, so as you can see, I've done a lot of testing with this little stove and I'm really impressed with its performance. But we're going to offer it on a pre-sale basis for $30. So we're going to go ahead and put a link down in the description 
And if you want to go ahead and click on that link, that'll take you to a purchase page where you can pre-order the Firebox Nano. And that's the Firebox Nano. Go ahead and pre-order yours now, and you can be one of the first people to own the Firebox Nano. Thank you, everybody, for watching.